So thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. But tell us about the novel. Okay, so um, it really kind of started as a challenge for my daughters. We were at a bookstore one weekend, and they're like, Dad, you should write a book. Really? Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. And so I just kind of stewed on it. Why and, not? <laughs> yeah, and then I thought, well, you know what? I'll just part my butt in front of my computer and see how many words I can churn out. I couldn't be bothered to write a college essay at U of right. H. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, word after word after word, and... 60,000 words later, I had a manuscript, so. See, I am so <laughs> impressed, Freddie, that you, I know you're such a busy guy, right? And I'm so impressed that you found the time. I have heard a lot of people over my lifetime say, oh yeah, yeah, I'm writing a book, I'm writing a screenplay. Uh, yeah. And then you see them a decade later and they haven't put two words on nope. a page. Yeah. So were you super structured and disciplined about saying, okay, I'm sitting down and spending this much time? Yes, well, you know, the cool thing is I've been at KRBE for next to forever so um, I have a lot of vacation time my wife works full-time so she doesn't have as much vacation time so I just make it a, a concerted effort to wake up a little earlier uh, and sit down in front of the computer and Seth Godin says you can write the book write enough bad words not profanity but write enough mm -hmm. bad words eventually the muse will show up to you and you'll start writing the good words and you start getting something compelling going interesting and chapter after chapter after chapter and it kind of got to a point where I remember specifically there was one scene and when you when you get to the story in the book it's the the, the twist okay it's toward the end uh, without giving anything away but um, I it was a Saturday night I had a few beers in me <laughs> always the best writing but, tools yeah, there <laughs> but I did I, I, there were se there were times when I wrote high on coffee, so but uh, I it, it got to a point where when you watch a football game, they do the slow mo and they do the the three D kind of spin yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. Spin around, yep. Yeah, I had that. The characters were in my head of you know they're in this place and this guy's doing this and kind of spinning around and looking at him from the vantage point of another character and it, it, it you get in a zone. I'm yeah, sure you, really you do and. You wrote a novel. How long did this take you to do? Because I, I can't even imagine. Uh, yeah, well, um, I started in late February last year, okay. finished the what they call a junk draft or the rough draft in September, uh, checked for grammar and spelling and all the all that stuff before I um, hired a, development, a developmental editor. Um, started with her in January. Uh, so I had her from January to February, uh, and then copy editing and proofreading and wrapped up in June. And here you are. <laughs> it's available now. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the content of yeah. the book. So When America yeah. Fell Silent, this is fiction. It is fiction. And how did you come up with these characters? Give us sort of a, a brief synopsis of sure. the story arc. Uh, so it's near, it's, it's near future America. Um, a radical assassinates the president on inauguration day after he's reelected. The first lady dies also. The first daughter in retaliation, uh, she's severely injured. She overthrows the government with the help of a couple of rogue uh, individuals. And it's up to her ex, who happens to be a retired Navy SEAL, uh, who jumps in and he's actually arrested um, before he's put up on the nationally televised chopping block. And so he, he's arrested, he escapes um, and yeah, it's crazy. It sounds dr yeah. <laughs> very dramatic. So all this work you poured into this, how does it feel to actually see it? Um, like, it's here. Uh, you know what? It just, it, it feels good. Sometimes I, you know, I got the, I got my first shipment of books uh, a couple of weeks ago and was like, yeah, that's... It's probably surreal. Yeah, it's, it's surreal. And, and reading some of the, the passages, how did you come up with that? Like, what, <laughs> what were you, what was going on in your head? Is the coffee or the beer? Yeah, the coffee or the beer or the, yeah, the, I had a a ambient music uh, also my wife you know she was like I was just wondering what what are you, what are you doing in there all I hear is dum da da dum dum da da dum 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 I'm working babe <laughs> I'm working. you would listen to that while you were writing oh yeah oh on YouTube you can find any kind of music you want so on uh, there are some there are a few like at the end it's kind of dramatic kind of emotional so I had you know some uh, ambient emotional music um, also get you set the mood yeah it helps it you really helps you set the mood yeah so Freddie I know that that a lot of books turn into films it sounds like this book is action-packed now that you know us yeah well have you, you thought know, of that like has that even crossed your mind that one day maybe this could yeah. be turned into a film uh, that would be amazing um, but I really like my life right now mm -hmm. 
yeah <laughs> radio life and all uh, people that people have to like the time. book a lot you know um i'm sure i'm sure suzanne collins when she did the hunger games was like ah, oh, well you know let's let's see what happens let's see what happens you know <laughs> so. okay well from from our lips let's talk about the book signing because yeah. people can get their own copy yeah. and uh and meet you in person this yeah. is happening next month yeah next month yeah over at a place called murder by the books and uh, we'll chat, uh, we'll, we'll maybe do a deep dive, go into the rabbit hole about some of the characters. There's some Easter eggs that are based loosely on people that I know or on situations that have happened in my life. And, and so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. Okay. Be a lot of fun. Well, it's very exciting. Yeah. Available for pre-order now. Freddy Krueger, yeah. great to see you. Thank you. Thank Stop you Stop by any time yeah. <laughs> so you can find it online on Amazon, Barnes & Noble as well. And to connect with Freddy, you can check out the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. All right. Well, coming up, we're...